Hi guys, welcome to a new video on Fake and Real just for you. Today I'm going to show you how to disassemble a Fidelio E5 system. Now this system is almost identical to the E6. Right, let's get started. Remove these two separate speakers. This is the main speaker. With main speaker, I mean the one with the buttons. This is the left side tower. So the first thing is we're gonna open up right side and this is the, the power source for the whole system. So first thing we need to do, first thing we're gonna do is remove these rubbers. So just put your nail in between and start peeling it off. Just like that, very easy. Do the other one and there you go. These two we're gonna put aside. Now what you're gonna need is only one simple tool and that's a standard Phillips screw head. There are four screws. I'm gonna remove all four of them. Well, in this case, I am missing one, so that one doesn't need to be removed. Once you remove those, we're going to the back. Now, I already removed these ones. You have in total five these you need to remove then this one and then these two so let's do that once you've done that push your nails in between the gap down here and just pull up and then pull the back here and then voila there you go it's open the only thing we have to do is remove these cables or disconnect the cables and there you go a fully removed back now because you remove these three screws you can actually remove these screws and then you can actually remove the whole motherboard so this one it was very easy to remove without any hassle how to put it back you just push it back just align this back here with the inside screw everything back up and screw everything back up there don't forget the rubbers put them back and you're all good so this was the right side and this is the power source so we'll put this aside now and now we're going to start with the left tower. So you see some screws on the side here or on the back. I'm going to remove that. We're going to remove all of them. Now again, just like the right side, we're going to remove these rubbers. Just Peel them off. Other side as well. Four screws. This time I do have four. So I'm gonna remove that as well. Perfect. Now hold it down, throw it upside down, and remove those screws. Now this one a little stuck. that there then so the same thing as the previous one I'm gonna put our nail right up to the gap here push it up push up the back and there you go all loose now you have some flex cables on the right side I'm gonna remove those just your finger in between and pull them all together you have a black and white cable here disconnect that one Turn it around. You have two more big ones. Pull, pull. And there you go. Fully disassembled. That screw just fell in there, but no worries. There you go. Now, the wirings and everything, you can actually see where everything goes the speakers, the air vent, and also the layers of main boards. 
HDMI, the wireless connector. So you see uh, all the chips on the boards. And also again, you can actually disassemble this by screwing these two and then clicking them off. I can show you by the way, just screw this, screw the other one, hold it down, remove the screws, remove the flex cable, there you go, and then push up and then remove it. And there you go. Now you can also put it back together again. It's not that hard as well. Put back all the screws, push it upside down. Don't forget, this is actually a very important part. Now, once you put that flex cables back, you have three flex cables. Let's say you have three sizes. Now these three sizes, you have a small one, a medium one, and a big one. A little hard to see, but maybe let me, let me zoom in just a little bit. Let me bring this up. Look at this. As you can see, it's a little bigger. And that one, the biggest one, needs to go all the way to the right. This goes to the middle. And then this one goes into the third one. Now... It doesn't go the same way as the other two. This cable needs to be turned. Now the other two you push in like so. So we have to have a smaller one that goes in the middle. You have this one, that's the biggest. That goes to the first one. Then you have the middle. That one goes the other way. Now, as you can see here, you see these blue flaps, knowing that this side is correct. Now, the only thing you need to do is not put this like this, but you need to turn it around, put it in to the opposite direction. So, that is the left side speaker or tower. Now, now we do the left and right side. These two are practically the same, so. So with this one, it's uh, kind of easy as well. You remove this rubber, put your finger in between here and peel it off. As you can see, I already done it before. So four screws, remove those four screws. All right, again, tilt it, hold it down, tap it a little bit. Get those four screws out as you can see i didn't hold it down perfectly it's already popped open that's okay so what you're going to do is this one is going to be stuck a little bit so you're going to wiggle it and push it a little bit up and then from here the back side you're going to pull it as you can see it's already going up so then just going back and forth and voila there you go I need to replace the battery on this one so I did disconnect it I didn't want any damage I didn't want it to blow up so if you have this system and it's a lot older than a year uh, I would recommend you replacing the battery immediately because I heard stories that these things can blow up so it's kind of easy to remove these batteries or replace these batteries before I show you let me uh, tell you what to remove before um, playing around with this first thing is you need to remove this cable and then you have another flex cable remember where how this flex cable is connected don't forget that you don't want to connect it to the wrong side and then you have the speaker connection flex remove those two and then you have a dismantled version so once you've done that put this aside Go back to this main board here. Now, as you can see, wireless chip here and the battery. Just be careful with the components around it. So just hold your finger, your hand, fingers here, your thumb there, and just push it back. Just keep pressure, 
there you go it releases and the battery is removed replace this or just leave it like this if you think well i'm not gonna ever use it as a portable speaker so remove this back tape put it on the new one put it back in position push it in and voila and there you go all done this is of course the connection for the when you put it on top where it recharges and connects and well that's about it this is also the main board if you remove these screws here you can easily remove the main board and that's about it that's actually how you dismantle these speakers they're pretty easy it's not that hard if you want to try it just try it at home if you have trouble with your speakers um, the most common problem is that it pops and it screeches sadly enough i haven't found a solution for that yet if i find something i will definitely let you know and i will show you guys how to fix that but in the meantime if you're having trouble with your wireless connection just remove this chip peel it it's a sticker so just peel it off and then just go sideways remove it maybe check if the chip is okay if it's not damaged maybe clean it up with some alcohol just leave it out for a couple hours maybe a day and also remove the battery and then put it back together put it back just look at the connection here push it in push it and then you're all good connect the battery back and then try to reconnect it and see if it works again if if it doesn't connect anymore you need to actually replace this wireless component but you should definitely try uh, ebay or other marketplaces that you know of that sells electronics all right guys i actually forgot the subwoofer this is also a main part of the sound system um, this bad boy has eight screws on the back we're going to start with those on the side so you have a small hole at the connect button put your screwdriver in there and just let it lean and just push it up and then actually pops open what you're going to do is go around until you have everything pull it up and then disconnect those cables you have one there and one on that side so just remove those and you're good to go you also have the wireless connection on this side you want to see the inside of this just remove these screws six screws plus two extra where the where the ac is again when you're opening this up please be very careful just because it's not connected to the ac that doesn't mean that there is no electricity going through this system so please 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 be careful and once you open this up voila and there you go this is the inside this is actually a very easy way to disassemble the subwoofer now if you want to put this back like this if you want to remove the subwoofer it's a different story you have four screws here the only thing you have to do is Remove these four screws. What we're gonna do is put it down. You already see it flipping up. And voila. There you go. Now you have, I'm gonna show you guys the connection here. Just be careful if you don't pull too hard. Yeah, that didn't come out that easy. So these are two wires. So it's connected on these two here. They have different sizes. You have a big one and a small one. Same thing here. Big one, small one. This one's small. And this is the inside of the subwoofer. 
This is the subwoofer. This is the part number. Just for the people who are interested. So yeah, this is how you disassemble a subwoofer and the rest of the system. And again, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was informative and also helped you with a more confidence in opening up one of these Fidelio systems. If you need any help, just put them down below in the comments and I'll try to help you as fast and as efficient as I can. Again, thank you so much, guys. And I hope to see you guys next time. Take care.